Algebra 1, number 2.5b. We're still talking about multiplying rational numbers. Now we're going to talk about multiplying two negatives to each other. So we learned in the last video, 2.5a, that multiplying unlike signs will give us a negative product. Whether it's a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive, it's going to be a negative product. When we multiply two negative numbers, we multiply their absolute values, just like we did with the other ones, and the product will be positive. So a negative times a negative is going to give us a positive. That's that double negative that we talked about previously. So a negative 4 times a negative 2 is going to give us a positive 8. Just remember to simplify your fractions when you're multiplying, okay? So let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got a negative 1.3 times a negative 3. The absolute value of negative 1.3 is 1.3. We take away the negative sign. And the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. We take away its negative sign. We just multiply 1.3 times 3. And it's easier to multiply decimals when they're stacked. So I stacked them up and I got 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 1 is 3. There was one decimal hop in the equation so I put one decimal hop in my product and our answer is a positive 3.9. See? Let's try another one with fractions. We've got a negative fourth times a negative half. The absolute value of a negative fourth is a fourth. The absolute value of a negative half is half. We multiply them together by just going straight across. One times one is one. Four times two is eight. And we get a positive one eighth. Okay? So maybe this will help. Since negative four is the opposite of a positive four, it kind of makes sense that a negative four times a negative two would be the opposite of positive 4 times negative 2. And we learned in the last video that the product of a negative and a positive is negative. So if this is the opposite of this, if this negative 4 is the opposite of that positive 4, and when we multiply these together we get a negative, it makes sense that when we multiply these together we would get the opposite of that, right? So this positive 4 times a negative 2 is the opposite of this negative 4. See? Across the 0 on the, under, on, on the number line, it's the inverse, the additive inverse of this one. So whatever this one has as a product, it makes sense that its answer for this one would be the additive inverse of that one. And since two numbers that are multiplied together with unlike signs make a negative product, the opposite of it, the inverse of it, would be a positive product. See? It's just the opposite. Multiplying a negative to another negative will equal a positive. And remember that zero is its own inverse. Zero equals negative zero. A positive zero and a negative zero are exactly the same thing. Zero doesn't have an opposite across zero on the number line. It is the middle. Okay? So we remember that when we multiply a negative to a positive or a positive to a negative, we're going to get a negative product. But as soon as we multiply two negatives together, we're going to get a positive product. Okay? And there's links in the description for this video for more videos about multiplying rational numbers. All right? So there are different videos from like seventh grade and stuff like that, and it might help you watch uh, if you watch them to understand what we're doing here. Okay? We're going to talk about going on to the multipl multiplicative, hard to say, multiplicative property of zero in 2.5c. And keep your chin up, keep trying. I'm going to stick with you, and we'll make it through Algebra 1. Bye.